trying to get this one bit of code to work. I'm doing a survival analysis, which is a um, more complex analysis that's based on a mathematical model that was invented to help describe um, outpatient success rate in the healthcare system. Anyways, I'm trying to use it to model my germination in seeds, which really hurts the brain because all of the resources I have access to are to help people who have data that's based on humans and their death or survival, and I'm using it to look at whether seeds germinate to become seedlings. So it's already confusing. <laughs> And I've been trying to fix this so that it looks like this because it R kept giving me a graph that would like go to 300 and I didn't have 300 days of observation so it's like what the heck but now you can see that for like over probably over 50 days nothing happened and then seeds started germinating and you can see on day 15 I think yeah, okay, day 15 of quarantine, and we are leaving the house, as I try and do every day, and drag Sonia along. <laughs> um, and we are going to pick up a new plant I bought, even though I'm hopefully leaving in a month, because I cracked a section of my thesis today, and I wanted to exert um, some retail therapy to reward myself, and this is one of the few things I can actually buy in Sackville right now and plants are great and this one's called an elephant ear alocasia poly this is my new plant I haven't seen it yet oh <gasps> look at it okay. it's so cute <gasps> as soon as I sent you the tickets that uh, that uh, something would change I'm glad it's the this time change rather than yeah, come back more. Nope, that's that's what it they needed as as they were waiting just as soon as you bought the tickets, then they immediately sent out an email. Pretty much. Good night. Good night. Our term has not been extended, but my thesis has been extended. So it kind of rearranges my whole timeline of when I was meant to get things in but I'm working towards a new deadline of getting as much as I can done by this Wednesday um, so that I can talk about it with my supervisor, get as many comments back from her as I can before exams kick in um, because she's going to be really busy. And basically I'm trying to get a full draft done of every section. I only have sort of two left. And then I can just incorporate her comments and tweak things for the rest of the time instead of actively trying to write whole sections while exams are going on. Hello. Um, I'm feeling absolutely wonderful today. I finished everything. My thesis is done. Um, coronavirus is cured. And... I am not stressed whatsoever and I've been working out this entire time. <laughs> that was my version of an April Fool's joke. I guess the world is kind of a joke right now, but at least I can, I hope we can all kind of see, find humor in these situations. Because laughter is the best medicine and sleeping lots and eating good food. So I'm doing all of those and trying to stay busy with my thesis. So I've stolen Sonia's mug. She's like right there. Thanks, Sonia. But um, yeah, yeah. I am just gonna drink my coffee and read over my results section. Very boring. I'll see you later. Hello. We are currently Ooh. a bit of a mess. I haven't talked to you in a while because stuff has been crazy. Everyone's kind of like scrambling. I'm hungry. I'm sorry. I'm going to be eating. So I'm making Alfredo again 
because I'm trying to use up the rest of my coconut milk cream before it goes bad. I don't like only eat this. I feel like this is the meal I'm showing the most. Um, but it's quick and really, really yummy. Um, and I haven't done meal prep in a while because I moved this weekend upstairs, which isn't like really moving, but my head's kind of crazy because my stuff's sort of spread out between two rooms right now. And I haven't been cooking that much. So I ate a lot of my chili last week. It was really good, but I'm out of it now, so. So, bit of a big update. Um, they started canceling all the flights from Moncton to Halifax. Um, so uh, basically, if I don't leave tomorrow, I might not be able to get home for the foreseeable future, so I've had to pack within 48 hours, so I am very stressed and all over the place and haven't been vlogging because that hasn't been my priority. I think I've got extensions for most of my assignments next week, but I really don't know how long this will take and how much it's going to mess everything up, but I'm going to be so relieved to be home, so I might not be vlogging for a while because I need to just pack and get ready. <laughs>